everyone. Today, I want to look into different perspectives of the denuclearization of North Korea from various articles. So let's get straight into it. Here is the first comment. The USA had better start looking for a much, much better negotiator than Trump and fast if anything is going to come out of this North Korea overture. If Trump gets involved personally, get ready for World War III. Well, wow, this next one is quite long, but don't quit on me. <laughs> the neo-fascist Bolton, the great lover of bombing first, has said that no administration should abide by the treaties from a previous administration. Trump's word is worthless. His expertise is reneging on deals he has made. Together, they are quite a couple hell-bent on starting a war. Kim is a lot smarter and certainly not a madman. He opened the door a crack at the Olympics and Trump took the bait. China will take North Korea's side and forbid a preventive attack and has already said that. South Korea has no intention to allow the US to start a war which could yield a nuclear wasteland on the Korean peninsula and kill millions. Trump thought all he had to do was huff and puff and Kim would run away and hide. Add to that to this new tariff on China and all the bad-mouthing of the world's second largest economy destined to be first. Kim is certainly going to hide under that umbrella which China will be all too willing to provide. Negotiations on nuclear disarmament on the Korean peninsula can in true Asian style take years to conclude, certainly until the next administration. There it is. Now the next one is short. To me, denuclearization means an agreement to eliminate the entire world's stockpile of nuclear weapons. Yes, that's what I think denuclearization should mean too. So this next article is called, Is North Korea really ready to negotiate its denuclearization? One of the comment reads, History tells me no. North Korea is just trying to get some foods, fuels and cash for 2018. And another comment reads, US demand about getting out of the nuclear program has always been agreed to by North Korea on condition that we would sign an agreement not to attack them at any time. If it is really that simple, I wonder why it has taken so long. If a signed document is the only thing that stands in the way of peace, I think we should get off our butt and get in gear. Here is a few more comments from an article from Stuff New Zealand on a similar topic. The US needs war to bolster its ailing economy, so this latest announcement of the DPRK is most annoying to the US. The US has spent a lot of money setting up strike drone bases in South Korea, so need a return on that investment. I recommend the US calls the DPRK's call for disarmament, an act of war, and attacks immediately. Wow. Okay, we've got a couple more left. It seems the problem is between the DPRK and the ROK is all caused by the US. There have been many chances for talks between the two Koreas over the years, but the US always insists on interfering in something that is not their business. Let the Koreans sort out their own problems and come to a mutually agreeable solution. Okay, and finally the last one that I have for you. Why should North Korea give up their nukes? USA is not going to give up theirs. As you would know, North Korea and the topic of denuclearization is such a big issue on the news these days. But I guess for most of us, at the end of the day, it's so easy to go, so what? This doesn't really affect me. But still, I think even being aware of these issues and thinking about our worldview can make tiny baby step differences, or at least we should hope. Well, that's it for today. What are your views on the issue of denuclearization of North Korea? Please feel free to leave a comment and thank you for watching Perspectives.